Despite once again being picked to win the GLVC West, there are many questions surrounding the Drury Lady Panthers after losing four seniors, including its top two rebounders and leading scorer. We're not going to have any player that's going to take Lindsey Baldwin or Melanie Oliver or Caitlin Shouse's place. Hopefully we'll distribute the points better and uh, as a coach I've got to come up with ways and, and strategically to put our kids in, in positions to be successful in doing the things that they do well. The team returns only one senior in point guard Janelle Jones, a captain on the team and someone who knows just how important her role will be this year. Leadership is going to be absolutely key. A lot is going to be on me and even the, the other players who are returning to kind of help them understand and get them up to, caught up to speed. The team recently learned that Katie Pritchard, its best player, is out with a season-ending knee injury, meaning the time for getting caught up to speed is right now. Sharpen it up, sharpen it up. We're looking for an Erica Groose to, to mature this year and grow up and assume that, uh, that role in the post force that we need. And of course, the Sarah Jane Plemons and her work ethic to drive the rest of them to, to do better. Along with Janelle Jones, new faces will carry this team. Names like Gibbons and Brocker and Plemons, Walker and Groose will be critical to the team's greatest strengths. We're pretty athletic. We're, we're going to be a lot faster than other teams, we hope. So we're going to take that to our advantage and our conditioning that we've gone through to beat him up and down the court. Without Pritchard, the team loses its leading score, but it may have a suitable replacement. And ironically, or maybe not so ironically, she's a freshman. Obviously, uh, Bethany Funderburk's name should stick out. Um, this is a kid, a very talented Nixa program that we're expecting to come in here and, and make great contributions as a freshman. Okay, fine and dandy if they let you dribble nine times. Even with all the untested talent, the team remains positive and its expectations remain the same. It's going to be an exciting year because I think, I mean, we are ranked 16 already preseason, so uh, I think we'll come in and make a, make a big impact with the young team. I mean, we want to go as far as we can, um, win conference, you know, get to the NCAA tournament, so that hasn't changed. It's a new era in Lady Panther basketball with new players and a new building. Here I am, 45 years old, and I come in here every day and say, wow. But if they have it their way, this season the results will stay the same and the program's legacy will only change locations. All the former Lady Panthers made wiser the place that it is today and the place that you know it was until up until this year and we get the chance to kind of kind of build the foundation for a rally and something that could hold for a long time.